In this video, I'm going to share with you some Welsh foods that we tried in our last trip to Wales, both traditional favorites as well as some fresh local food. I still didn't get to try the lava bread, but we did show off some lovely Welsh seaweed that we discovered whilst filming our puffin video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dara, and I created Magenta Otter Travels to be a place where Britons and Anglophiles from around the world can gather and talk about British stuff. And I love food, so it's a topic we frequently discuss. I was excited to visit Wales last year and finally get to tick off the list some of the Welsh foods I've been wanting to eat. First up is the famous Welsh cakes. At the Cardiff market, we found this stall where a Welsh cake pro was making fresh cakes on a griddle. If you love hot Welsh cakes, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Even if you don't like them, please hit the like button. Even though I was totally full after our delicious lunch at the Pie Minister, I could not resist finally trying a Welsh cake hot off the griddle. It was absolutely delicious. Crispy on the outside, flaky on the inside, and slightly but not overpoweringly sweet. Be sure you are subscribed and click the bell so you are alerted when my upcoming Cardiff vlog is published. Then I'll share the delicious foods we ate at the nearby Pie Minister. The next segment, which we filmed in Saundersfoot, Wales and Pembrokeshire, is a two for one, sharing both my long awaited taste of Welsh rarebit as well as a plowman's lunch. So I asked for advice on what Welsh food I should eat. I have been trying to find Welsh rarebit and people suggested a whole bunch of other things. The problem is, it's hard to find Welsh food in Wales because all the restaurants are selling pub grub, regular British food or Italian food or fish and chips. Everything is fish and chips around here and I can't eat fish and chips twice a day, every single day. So we have succeeded in finding a place here in Saundersfoot that does make a Welsh rare bit. I had no idea how rare a Welsh rare bit would be, but allegedly they have it here, but um, they're fully booked. So we're just loitering outside for 20 minutes, hoping we can eventually get a table. And we're having a cheesy lunch here. Here is Ian's Plowman's with Welsh cheese and pickled onions, yum yum. And here is my Welsh rare bit with a salad garnish. I am looking forward to trying this. It smells delicious. The Welsh rare bit was very tasty. What's not to love about toasted cheese? And Ian is also enjoying his plowman's, which has the Welsh cheeses. It's a Welsh cheddar and a red dragon cheese. In our visit to gorgeous Tenby, watch the upcoming vlog of that lovely coastal town, I wanted to eat local seafood. We really wanted to have seafood, so we ordered the local crab tian, which comes with avocado and mango, and then these king scallops, which sounded so good because they come with burnt apple puree and pancetta, and then we've got some garlic bread and mixed vegetables. comment and let me know which of these Welsh foods you have tried and what you think of them or which ones you'd like to try and what you think I should try on my next visit to Wales. For one final sweet treat, let's talk about Barra Brith. And now it's time to tick another food off the list of the list of Welsh foods I'm supposed to be trying while I'm here. We got some Barra Brith. I didn't see it in any bakeries or restaurants, so we bought it at M&S, and we're gonna try it. All right, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna put more butter on it after I've photographed it, but you know, it's not gonna look pretty once all the butter is smashed into it. I liked this bar of breath. It reminded me of some lovely tea bread I had in the Lake District overlooking Lake Windermere. I enjoyed the moist texture and the fruity flavor of the bar of breath, 
but because of the spices, I think I would have enjoyed it more if it had been freshly made instead of packaged and bought off a shop shelf. I hope you enjoyed this wee compilation of Welsh foods. Please stay tuned to all the other videos in my Wales eight-part video series. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.